Gengeton singer Mandy has now joined the group of the few Kenyan artists who have been featured on the Times Square Billboard courtesy of Spotify. She is now the Equal Artist Ambassador for May 2013 for the Equal Music Program run by Spotify Africa. In an elected Twitter post, she shared a cover that was up on the Times Square Billboard. From Dago to New York with love, thank you Spotify Africa for the continued support. To be on Times Square Billboard is considered the biggest thing in one's music career. And there are other few Kenyan musicians who have been featured on the Billboard before. Calligraph Jones made it to the Billboard in 2022 for his Invisible Currency album. In 2021, we had five artists who made it to the Billboard for their albums and on behalf of Spotify Africa. Kenya's boy band Sauti Sol in January 2021 got featured because of their Midnight Train song. We then had by artists uh, Love Like This album who made it in the Times Square in June 2021. Closely followed by Saru, who like Mandy, was the ambassador for the Equal Artists by Spotify in August of 2021. Then Tanasha Donna for a complication ship song in the same month of August. Mudoni the drama queen was also featured as an ambassador for the Equal Artist Music Program by Spotify in December 2021. In November 2022, singer Nikita Kering was also featured on the New York Times Square Billboard. In March 2023, rapper Octopizo was featured in the Times Square billboards at a time the world was celebrating World Water Day. Times Square is a popular spot that pulls in large number of people at once, so if one makes it to a billboard on that street, it's an accomplishment. A Times Square billboard cost a day can start at 700,000 Kenyan shillings and go up to 6 million shillings. The time limit for the ads on the billboard varies.